Welcome to the Taxman Show. We ask the questions to get all of your accounting, tax, and small business questions answered. Now here is your host, Albert, Albert Taxman, Taxman, Taxman Corey, with another Corey. edition of the Taxman Show. Well, we answer the questions to make sure you get the best tax refund and to help your business grow. Um, we have now all, also launched our new book, The Perception System. You can get it at theperceptionsystem.com or you can text 786-590-3804 for your Kendall 99 cent Kendall pre-sale. And for every person who makes a purchase, we will, I will give you a 15 minute coaching session and that's worth about $300. Well, today's little show is going to be about how your car is your number one tax deduction, but it could lead to an audit. Um, this podcast came about because in the last few weeks, I got a bunch of new clients. Thank you for the new clients, for people who went to other places who did it wrong. That's right. They put car deductions on their tax returns and they did it wrong. And guess what? When they went to go back um, and check and go ask these people on what was wrong, and they weren't there. Hence, that's where I came in, because of my big um, reputation on Google, with a one, uh, 135 4.8 star reviews. So anyways, here's how you use your car um, on your tax deductions. A, under the new tax laws, you must have a small business. That's right, you must have a small business, which could be an MLM business, a realtor business, selling eBay, Amazon, Etsy, Petsy, do whatever you have to do to have a small business. Or you have a corporation, corporation LLC. Because under the new tax law, if you're a W-2 employee, you cannot deduct it. So here's how a couple of people got into trouble, and I can show you how to get out of it. So they went to the dirtbag place to do their tax return. Guess what? They did it. They did their tax return, and they put thirty-five thousand miles car miles. Guys, thirty-five thousand miles. Let me tell you some long-distance truckers do not put thirty-five thousand business miles. The average American does not put thirty-five thousand miles. So what did that do? The IRS little all that it goes. Ding 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 ding. You are now a winner. Please give us your money. So now they get this letter from the I and R and E S that now they're busted, and you know, and and I, and I it's hard to get out of that. Um, but if that would have came to a reputable place, okay, we would have told them, guys, a you better have a small business, okay, or else they're gonna get you. And these people were just dirtbags. So, anyways, this is how you use your car as a tax deduction. A, you're supposed to have a logbook. You're supposed to keep track of all your miles because the government says it has to be business related. So here, what does that mean? It's uh, the IRS car miles is defined as from your first stop to your last stop is considered business miles. You're gonna say, hey Albert, what does this mean? What it means is guys, is it just like if you're driving to work every day, okay? So you gotta drive to your first stop. That's like driving from your house to the first stop. And on the way home, the last stop to your going home is like driving home from your job every day. But here's how I can tell you how to get around it. How you get around it is you go, you know, go to McDonald's, you go somewhere and you hand out a business card and you ask them, hey, would you like to be part of my business? Or do you have, do you need somebody to do blah, blah, blah. So now from that point on, you're now at work. Then on the way home, you do the same thing. Now, the trick is, obviously, you got to keep track of this. You're supposed to log this all down. So most new cars, I mean, there's a bunch of apps out there that does that. Um, but, you know, there's all kinds of apps that does it. But my new car, my Toyota, tells me every time I get in the car, um, every time how many miles I've driven. So, you know, keep track from the house to your first stop, pass out the business card on the way back. And obviously, if you're, if you're at business... That means if you're in a state like Florida or New Jersey and there's a lot of tolls, all those are deductible. Your parking is deductible. You know, so all that's deductible. You know, having a business, guys, you know, has a lot of deductions. 
You know, I run across so many people that have, you know, you know, that's how the big boys are getting away with it, okay? You know, Amazon didn't pay no tax, guys, right? Why didn't they pay tax? Because I have a whole bunch of deductions, okay? So now, what, you know, so you can't, and the, guess what? Um, if you have a high-end lease, okay, miles is still the best because the government's always going to ask you, um, what is the business percentage? There again, in order to have a business percentage, you need a logbook. And in my 34 years of doing tax returns, guys, um, guess what? You know, the mileage is always better because most of the time, you know, the only time you can use 100% of everything you do is, is if you, I got a client of mine who does pressure cleaning, okay? So he has a big old F-350 with a trailer. Uh, so he leaves the trailer and the big F-350 at his warehouse. So what happens is he takes his car to his warehouse, he gets in his truck and the trailer, does his jobs, comes back home. So now all that truck is still, is all deductible. And you can see it's all deductible because it's coming in and out of a warehouse. Another good example is if you have a big service truck, like a dump truck, or you do heavy construction in a van and you got two cars, well, guess what? Chances are that big heavy dump truck or that big 350 Econo van, especially a dump truck. Um, you know, especially the, the dump truck, because the dump truck, you're gonna go, you know, you're just gonna drive it to dump your loads and go back and forth. Um, sometimes Econo vans, you can say you're gonna take it home. Bottom line is, guys, if you take your car home to your house, then you're gonna have to have a log book, and, you know, so you gotta write everything down. Um, and, and by the way, you could always find log books online. There's apps. There's everything to do it. So, and make sure you have a company open or you'll have, like I said, an MLM, a small business. Um, the IRS is starting to check on that. So make sure that if you're going to try to take all these deductions, make sure you have a business card or a website always active because that's what they're going to check to see are you an active business. One of those customers who came in um, part of the IRS checklist on that was you had to show that you're an active business. What the IRS calls an active business is, do you have a business card? Do you have a website? All right, you have a business card and website. Do you have a flyer? If you have a business card, website, or flyer, chances are you have a, a deduction. Okay, well, this is Albert Corey from Corey & Associates Accounting Small Business. By the way, um, this will be on YouTube. Just be on every single channel. We're on YouTube. Um, if you listen to us on a podcast or you're watching us on Facebook, um, you know, you can leave a comment below. Um, we're on all YouTube channels. Sorry, we're on all podcast, Stitcher, um, iTunes, um, Amazon, every channel we're on. Just look up the Taxman Show. And guess what? We are now launching our new book, The Perception System. Um, and we will give you a free copy. I mean, you can get a 99-cent copy of our book. Just text 786-590-303804. And you can get a 99-cent copy. It's in pre-sale. When it goes live, it's going to be $19.95. And I'm going to give you something even special. When you um, buy the 99-cent pre-sale, okay, and you buy the 99-cent pre-sale and you send me the receipt, I'm going to give you a 15-minute coaching call. That's right, 15 minutes. To talk to me in my office, to do a tax, re you know, to do a coaching call with me is normally $500, but you're going to get it. You're going to get a free 15 minutes, so that's about $200. All you got to do is make the purchase. Um, go to 786-590-3804, and you can get your 99-cent Kendall copy. Send us the receipt. And we'll set up a coaching time. Remember, sharing is caring. We're on all i all all podcast platforms. Just type in Taxman, and we're here. Thank you, and have a good day. Bye bye. Thank you for listening to the Taxman Show. If you have any questions, please leave it below or email it to Albert at one zero four zero w two dot com. Remember, sharing is caring. Please follow us on all social media platforms.